Um, I got this question. According to the basics of universal grammar and uh, poverty of stimulus, I want to ask you how influential behaviorism was on developing universal grammar? It was very influential in providing a foil. Uh, go back to the actual origins. We were Harvard University center of hardcore behaviorism, radical behaviorism, uh, uh, when there were actually three graduate students who became close friends, uh, uh, Eric Lenneberg, uh, Morris Halley, I recently me, we met at Harvard as grad students, we became close friends. We shared at the time, uh, the conception of language was basically uh, the F. Skinner's verbal behavior hadn't been published yet, but it was circulating manuscripts. Quine, who was very influential, very influential figure, very prominent, important philosopher. Uh, he uh, uh, bought this book, Line and Sinker. That's the basis of his philosophy of language, extraordinarily influential. Uh, the three of us thought that this whole picture was totally wrong. Uh, we began on our own reading uh, uh, literature, which was uh, under the, under a ban, uh, European uh, com uh, ethology of uh, people like uh, uh, Tinberg and uh, uh, Lorenz, uh, comparative psychologists in the United States and Europe, uh, Thorpe and others, uh, all of which were talking about uh, the, uh, uh, the the way in which instinct shapes what animals do uh, with very interesting results. That was not supposed to happen. Everything is supposed to be formed by uh, operant conditioning. Well, that was behaviorism. It seemed to us totally crazy. So that was a stimulus to try to show what's wrong with it. And in fact, in our combined and partly separate ways. That's what we devoted our lives and work to. But that was the only influence.